What is up everybody, Eggard here. Today, I'm going to be going over all three characters that are going to be coming in version 1.5 of Honkai Star Rail. Now, 1.5 does seem quite a bit away from now, and that's because it is. We're currently in version 1.3, and we're going to be heading into version 1.4. However, Hoyaverse has just done their next batch of drip marketing, and this is what this video is about. So, I'm going to be going over the first character who I'm going to show on screen right now. This is Huo Huo. So, we have a little bit of a text here. Uh, this is like a quick like summary of who of who of who of who 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 is that's that's a that's a tongue twister um so this says extraterrestrial satellite communication who who i can use this banner to dispel demons but it also comes in handy when signaling my surrender a pitiable and helpless foxy and girl who is also a 10 lords commission judge in training who fears ghosts but must catch them Due to having a helio abyss named the tail, sealed in her tail, by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission, she also she became a cursed one who attracts inhuman beings. She fears demons and heliobi, but contrarily is tasked with their capture and entrusted with a heavy task of eradicating vile spirits. Though she believes herself lacking in ability, she is unable to muster the courage to resign and continues onward despite walking in a valley of her own fear. So a quick summary of all of that she's a spirit hunter she hunts spirits and ghosts and demons however <laughs> she is a she's a little scaredy cat and she's super scared of them and to the point where she doesn't even have enough courage to resign this job and so she continues to hunt spirits i think it's super cute uh i'm personally not going to be pulling for her but I don't know. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I think it's weird how, despite like this task, this like overall like theme to where she's a healer. I don't think that I don't think that's fitting. Um, like, I haven't gotten into like her kit yet. Uh, and when I say kit, I mean like her classes. So she's a five star. Um, she's a wind damage dealer, and she is an abundance character, which means that she is a healer. So you know maybe you could pair her with. I actually don't even know because. We don't know anything about this character. I don't know who she would uh, go well with, but that that's Huohuo. She's a another five star uh, healer. But I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do want to hear what people have to think about Huohuo. Personally, I think she's a really funny character, but I'm not gonna be pulling first since I have uh, more important priorities. Speaking of priorities, we have my man Argenti. So this character, before I even get into anything, he looks absolutely awesome our mentee here looks sick okay he <laughs> he's elegant beautiful no homo awesome looking just incredible overall i don't know man i think he looks oh, he's so awesome argenti is so awesome okay this character looks crazy so before i read his little uh summary i want to quickly go over um his classes so he's another five star which is why i'm saving so many jades now um he's physical and he is erudition which means that he can attack he's a dps who can attack multiple enemies simultaneously which is great um erudition is kind of uh kind of like nerfed by destruction oh, just a little bit um i think argenti is gonna be op though um the character after him i think will pair nicely with him which i'll go over later in this video but yeah i'm just gonna go over uh this summary here so this says extraterrestrial satellite communication argenti may this rose convey my heartfelt salutations a classic knight of the knights of beauty Fortright and candid, this noble and admirable man wanders the cosmos alone, resolutely following the path of beauty. Upholding the good name of beauty is Argenti's duty. To fulfill this responsibility, ones must be pious when one initiates battle, and one must make their opponent yield willingly when one strikes with one spear. So, it says here that he wanders the cosmos alone, which is weird because I thought the Knights of Beauty, we don't know anything about the Knights of Beauty, but I assumed that it was like a, like, I assumed they were like a group that fought as a group. I don't know, even though he's a knight, he's one of the Knights of Beauty, he just uh, travels 
uh, across the universe alone, which I find interesting. So 1.5 is not going to be like a brand new region that we haven't seen yet or anything. Um, the, the, the region that Argenti comes from probably will be revealed for like a long time. I'd say it's probably like version 3.0. I don't know. I feel like uh, his backstory is going to be uh, revealed like a while from now. But he looks absolutely awesome. I have no idea how he's going to tie into the story. Um, I think, yeah, every character, or yeah, most characters so far that have been re uh, revealed or have been put on as like five star limited characters have been in the story somehow, I think. Um, you know, we had Silver Wolf, Jingwen, Mocha, uh, Kafka, Blade, I don't know. Fushuen, and Byron Lune. Okay, Argenti, maybe 1.5 can uh, be like a prelude to uh, maybe Penacony. We can see we can travel there with Argenti or something. I have I have no idea. This is getting into speculation territory. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. So the final character that we have here is Hanya. So <laughs> she looks uh, awesome. Okay, I really like Hanya. Um, I think she's gonna go well with Argenti, my boy Argenti. Now, the reason why I say that is because she's also physical, just like Argenti, but she's Harmony, and Harmony is like a support class. Um, I actually don't know exactly what Harmony does yet, but I do know that, that it like buffs your characters, and it's a pretty OP class. <laughs> Tingyun, Yukong, um, <laughs> Bronia. Sure, off the bat, you can tell she looks super like overworked, emotionless. Um, just a really cool vibe overall. Just like with Huo Huo, she's kind of got like like these like flames, like the, like the spirit thing kind of going on. Uh, kind of looks like she'd be fitting for like a Halloween release, but she's coming uh, the second half of 1.5. Every time Hoybert releases uh, new four stars, they come out in the second half of a patch. So it's safe to assume she's coming out in the second half of 1.5. Anyways, this reads extraterrestrial satellite communication Hanya. Using dreams to analyze the sins of the Marashuk is like touching a vine with thorns. It doesn't hurt as much when your fingers become numb. One of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. One of the four duties of a judge, detention, imprisonment, punishment, and interrogation. Hanya is charged with the last task, interrogation. She specializes in reading the karma and sins of criminals and records their crimes and punishments with the Oracle Brush, which we don't know yet. Probably probably gonna be like a part of her kit and also like a part of like the story when she is uh, introduced eventually as she spends her days using dreams to predict the karmic offenses and as to endure the torrential flood of information regarding the Mara Shuk's actions she has long become dull to all things in the world only when she operates with her sister and fellow judge Shui Yi will Hanya momentarily reveal her true nature. Speaking of Shui Yi, it's interesting that she hasn't been uh, playable yet. I thought she was going to be playable way back in like <laughs> 1.2. I thought she was going to be playable forever ago, but she might be like... She's going to be coming in at least 1.6, which I find interesting. But what I find even more interesting is we're getting two of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission coming in 1.5. We have Hanya and then Huo Huo, who I talked about earlier in this video. So back to like Hanya's design, I think she looks awesome. Uh, we don't know much about any of these characters so far, but if I had to pick between these three characters, the one that excites me the most is easily Argenti. Dude, he is so awesome awesome <laughs> i don't know what it is he's just like he's cool he's just cool so i also he looks like myrtle from arknights with that haircut anyways that is it for this video if you did enjoy or found this informative make sure to go down there like and subscribe but that is it from me goodbye